Over the past years, Rockstar Games and Take-Two Interactive have shown that they don't care much or at all for their modding community, suing a Red Dead Redemption 2 modder for $500,000 for modding the console version of Red Dead to match PC standards. This has essentially destroyed any effort by modders to mod the game, so they've stepped back and stopped in fear of getting sued. So in order to reintroduce some fairness, I've decided to start showcasing the thousands of mods that are still up and the incredible modding community that persists even with the threat of a giant corporation filing a lawsuit against them and their work. So welcome all to the first episode of Red Dead Mods Weekly. Do you ever feel like the metals on the guns are too washed out and dull? Well, let me introduce you to Gun Metal Rework by Al Sharad. This mod adds a ton of new gun metal colors and reworks the original. So now gold is actually gold and silver is actually shiny silver. The black and steel looks so good with red, by the way. Now we all know that Rockstar reused Arthur's Ped model after you know what happened, but the John Marston restoration project by GUI Corleone X794 tries to recreate what the original John Marston would look like in Red Dead 2. I've combined this with the other John Marston mods like the John Marston animation and facial overhaul by Richard Hertz and it's infinitely better than the original. He walks with his gun up and he doesn't have the same animations as Arthur anymore and god damn does it look more badass. The ragdoll physics in RDR2 is already amazing but this mod Ped Damage Overhaul by Hinty21 aims to make combat even more realistic with enemies limping away, squirming on the ground when they get shot and stumbling and falling dynamically. This is such a fun mod for those of you who are sadists and want to watch an NPC writhe around in his own pool of blood for five minutes. Next up is the Drag NPCs mod by Tuffy Town. This mod introduces a fully scripted or natural event where the player can knock an interactable NPC onto the ground, grab them, and drag them wherever they please, much like you did with Cleet in the epilogue. This is a small but hilarious mod because now you can drag your favorite character, Micah Bell, off of Mount Hagen if you really wanted to. This next mod is probably one of the greatest on the platform at the moment. Classic Characters by Quad Noffle seeks to bring back a bunch of original characters and their original outfits from Red Dead Redemption 1 into RDR2, such as the OG Dutch, OG Javier, Irish, Seth Breyers, Bonnie McFarlane, Landon Ricketts, and probably one of the most hated men in Red Dead lore, Edgar Ross, and his epilogue outfit. The details on these models are absolutely insane, and it's even more insane that Rockstar never bothered to do anything like this and yet decided to sue people that actually put effort in for no profit. Definitely check this one out if you're a fan of the original Red Dead Redemption because it's an absolute nostalgia trip. Anyway guys, that's it for this episode, but if you'd like to check out any of the mods, the links will be in the description as well as my socials so you can reach out and let me know if you'd like a mod featured in the video. Thank you for watching Legends and until next time, peace.